So you want to make videos, do ya? Do you realize how many takes it takes you to actually do some of this stuff? Oh my gosh. I think I've been doing this for like a solid 30 minutes and I haven't gotten a good take yet. Oh. What's going on YouTube? In today's video I wanted to go over a question that we get asked quite a bit on our channel and that is what camera do we use to video our hunts? And uh, to not specifically go right into which camera we use for just hunting, I wanted to go over the three different cameras that we're using now to make videos for the channel. Uh, this way it'll help you guys make your decisions as well as know the different styles of cameras that are out there um, and which one you want to focus on for your next purchase. So if you like the video and want to see the products that we talked about, all the products are listed in the description box below, which provides a link that will take you guys right to purchase it. So um, hit that if you want to check out the products in more in depth. Now the first style of camera that I want to talk about today is actually not one that I recommend for people just starting to get into filming their hunts, and that is the DSLR style cameras. Um, I'm using the Canon Rebel T3i today to do this, and uh, they're really great cameras, and they're really they shoot really really high quality photos and, and uh, videos. But I really just don't want to recommend the first time buyer to pick this camera up first. Um, this is a very user focused camera, meaning that um, you really have to control a lot in order to get a really great shot. Um, there is no uh, buttons just to hit to zoom. You actually have to manually twist the lens to zoom. Um, you can have there's hundreds upon hundreds upon of lenses that you could choose to get different depth of field, and, and it just it gets really um, quite confusing to be perfectly honest. I have no idea, um, and uh, it's just really not the best camera for hunting and self filming. Yes, you can use these cameras to video your hunts. Um, I do understand that people have done that, people have self-filmed with that. I just don't think it's the best option um, in order to use to video your hunt. So uh, these cameras work really great in setting type scenes in my opinion. So like what I'm doing today, I'm just here talking to the camera. Uh, a majority of the time you're going to see us using this camera when we're doing our bow tip videos and, and whatnot. It allows us to have the manual focus, um, which our other camera that I'm going to get into does not. So this manual focus allows us to um, focus in on what we want to. So it's it's a good camera and it shoots really great video. But like I said, if it's your first camera. Um, I just don't want to recommend it right out of the gate. I feel like um, it'll it'll sway you and it, it'll it'll make you not want to video your hunts more because it just takes a lot more um, focus on your end in order to make it a better video. So if you're looking for a camera to do this kind of stuff with, DSLR is your cam is the camera you want to go with. It shoots really great videos, and uh, you know go from there. So, so the next camera I want to get into is the action camera style cameras. Now these cameras can range from uh, 1080p to now 4K. Um, I actually picked up a GoPro Hero 5. Um, I didn't grab the 6 just because uh, I didn't feel like spending the extra hundred dollars on it. Uh, I picked up this camera originally for second angle shots, meaning that I have my main hunting camera or I have this main camera and this camera is shooting from a different angle so behind me get the deer or whatnot. You can also put these cameras on your bows, so you can dunk them underwater, you can do you can spear deer with them. It's really a really a really cool camera to have um, and I feel like it's a really great second camera to pick up. Um, I've seen a lot of really cool videos though of people just strapping this onto their bow and being really close to a deer and shooting it and it'd be really it's a really cool video. With these cameras uh, that you can get really cool videos with them you just there's no option to zoom it but you can actually manipulate it in a way. This camera shoots in 4k meaning it shoots higher than HD um, uh, and I don't really want to get into it all, but pretty much you can crop 4K like this and you can zoom in to that point. So my thought is, is you can actually start to zoom these cameras in a little bit with editing. So that's going to be a really big feature. It adds a really cool second angle shot. And uh, if you want to pick this camera up as your first camera, by all means go for it and, and do it. It's, it adds no more weight to anything and it's a, it's a really cool camera and you can do a lot of cool things other than just hunt with it. So that's going to wrap it up for the action cameras. Um, 
like I said, this is linked below if you want to check that out. So the third camera I want to talk about today is the traditional style camcorder. Uh, this is the very first camera that we picked up and started using for our channel. And this is the Canon Vixia HFR500. Now this camera has actually been discontinued. So the predecessor to this camera is actually linked below. Now this camera is a really great camera. Oops, almost dropped it. Uh, just because it's so lightweight, portable, shoots 1080p quality, has um, AV outputs that allows you to use an external mic. Um, it's just a really great camera and allows you to start getting into filming your hunts. Um, now there's been many times where we want to pick up cameras like the G30 and G40 that have the horseshoe mounts already built in, that have the um, manual focus, but we just can't get rid of the fact that this is so lightweight and portable. <clears throat> the, the cons actually get outweighed by the pros in our opinion right now. Now if you're making TV style video, obviously this is not the camera for you. But if you're just getting started, this is a very great camera you can pick up and start filming and using with. Um, the learning curve is the biggest thing about filming, um, in my opinion. Uh, editing software and everything else is almost more important, uh, knowing your editing software um, in order to make good high quality videos. So if, if I was in the market again, like I was in the beginning, the very first camera I'd buy would be this camera. Um, as you expand, you want to focus on um, some audio, and we picked up the Rode Video Mic, which I'm actually using today. I'll put a picture somewhere over here. Uh, we picked up that uh, uh, mic, and since this camera doesn't actually have a horseshoe mount, you can take double-sided tape and put a horseshoe mount on it, just DIY, FYI. Um, but we bought this L or J bracket, whatever you want to call it, which is also linked below. You can use this and it actually creates a really awesome handle. It doesn't allow you to put it in your pocket as easy, obviously, but it makes a really great, it's really steady, it gives you a really steady shot and you have the two different uh, horseshoe mounts here, as you can see, but it's not focused. Like I said, the DSLRs don't focus automatically on this one, so that's out of focus, but I am in focus. Okay. So, like I said, the cons of this camera is you do not have the manual focus option, which is something that's really big in hunting, but we've kind of made do without it. Um, so, so yeah, if, if I were to recommend a camera for you guys to pick up to start videoing your hunts, it would be this camera in the predecessor below, um, something like that. Small, easy to use, portable, and allows you guys to know if you want to start filming your hunts, get into uh, using uh, editing software and learning and making videos better before you go and spend thousands of dollars on, on camera equipment. Now I know it'll get asked, but our editing software is just iMovie. Uh, it's just because it was on our computers when we have it. We have Macs, but we've also used the Movie Maker for Windows because we used to have Windows. And so you can make uh, all these videos with any style of editing software as well it's just your preference and we like the iMovie now so yeah that's gonna wrap it up hopefully I covered everything if you guys like these style of videos let us know we can make a, a whole different series about filming your hunts um, and accessories and one thing I want to hit on it about these cameras and accessories is when you carry the camera you also have to carry a tree arm you have to carry your tripod it all adds up so Making sure you're as lightweight as possible is is really a big thing that I want to push. So one thing I just want to stress is make sure that filming is fun and it's a hobby uh, like it is for us. At times it's very frustrating and you don't want to take the camera and you don't want to put the camera up to your face and talk about something or you can't talk like I did today and it gets very frustrating. So don't ever let the camera um, sway you from having fun hunting. There's been multiple times where we've left the camera at home and just went hunting and had a lot of fun. So uh, videoing your hunts is fun. Just make sure you're not taking out the fun from being out in the woods and, uh, and doing your original passions. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit the like button and to subscribe to see future content. Uh, also, comment down below if you wanna see any different videos. Um, 
a lot of the videos that we do is actually some of your guys' ideas that you guys have questions on, so it really helps um, other people out as well. So make sure you comment down below. So that's